To Toronto Community Housing, this is the stairways of 4301 Kingston Road. I receive a large, large, large amount of tenants, and a, very, a large amount of complaints from tenants that are very, very unhealthy, unhygienic, and they fear for their health when walking through these stairwells. You can smell it, it smells of urine, it smells of feces, but you can consistently see all the different areas that are eroded due to urine stains. We're asking that cameras be installed in the building so that we can, you know, control this environment and we're asking for it to be power washed and cleaned so it is not a health hazard to the tenants. As you can see, food wastes and garbage create rodents and as you can see, more than areas where there was where people urine and these were recently painted. And as you can see down there, you can see when urine are left there too long, all the different litter, and also we must always paint over gang tags because they encourage delinquent activities. God bless me. You can see all the different urine spots. Thanks for Toronto Community Housing to maintain these so that the health of the tenants are not jeopardized. God bless me. This urine stain has been here for over a month. On areas like these, this building is over 50 years old. We cannot have things like these exposed because in these times, asbestos was used in all these installations. So we're asking to all the community housing to ensure that tenants are not exposed to things like these that are as asbestos. This is, a, this is the second floor of 4301 Kingston Road. Plasters falling off the wall, as you can see that. These should be repaired. And I told God that you got that? Yeah. Okay, now we start another one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. These areas here should be fixed so that people do not hide objects in them. Right. And so that people don't have access to them to vandalize them. Uh -huh. We're asking houses to deal with that. You got that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now this is the next one. This one you have to do. So these water leaks, when these were new tiles that were put in, but they did not fix all these, keep going on, all these. Look at there's one here, there's another there, there's another here. Take a look, that's mold. Okay? This is mold. Take a look at that. Take a look at this. Okay? Now take a look at this. This side of the building has children. All on this side. So how can we be exposing children to this over their head? Reacts and housing to address it. We don't need me in the video, it's not about me. Okay. You got that? Yep. Okay. Yeah. The video? Okay. When you first step in the hallway, step in here, mm -hmm. what did you say? I said, oh my god, it smells like pee. So this here, following down here, we need this gang tag fix, proper lighting here. Take a look at the stains that's running down. The problem we have, you gotta go to the point we have, so what this young man just says. Take a look at this. I reported this over here in the This is it. But here's the problem we have. Number one, this door is always left a shock. So you keep going, it's going? Yes, yeah, sir. So the homeless population, they have free access. Where is the security? But take a look at what's right here. So parents have to walk with their children through that pee infested hallway to get them over here. That is child abuse if we do not address it. And how can Toronto Community Housing have this door consistently ajar? And there's a camera right there. There's not someone checking the cameras to make sure that doesn't happen. Now we're going to continue down here. And as we come back here, we are going to the and take a this is one of the biggest things they see. But this here, you see all the urine stains on the earth and the that people are normally sleeping here. Right? Toronto Community Housing must do a proper job to ensure the safety and the well being of the tenants. And say we can be rusted out here. Okay? These are unhealthy environment and we should have been dangerous. Somebody can cut themselves on the end. Take a look at here. Take a look at the end. Take a look at this. This is on this. 
subject for a housing that's meant for people. What's this? Look at what it is, but we'll find out that. We'll take a problem with it. It's a very long way. It's not acceptable when we have to have to move the housing to a dress. Oh, take it up here. Two months since somebody left us a freezer there, a popsicle, and it melted, and as you can see, it still remains. So Alison has not cleaned these stairwells in over two a month and a half, two months. Wow. And we're asking Alison to address that. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you can see, I've isolated the cockroaches, and this is there, so I isolate them to cupboards, and then Alison don't want me to put things out there to clean them back in. But as you can see, now keep that going. Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. Now watch this here. Come over here. Focus right here. Just stay right there. You ready? Yep. Okay, watch. There's all kinds of stuff. So, see? Mm -hmm. And this has been months and months I've been dealing with it. Okay, oh so my cut God. it off. 